What's up guys, Justin Morgan here, Carved Up Vegan Muscle. And I was just thinking that, you know, in the wild, when you're looking at like gorillas and the great apes, you never see a chimp walk up to a gorilla and start talking smack. But, I'll get back to that towards the end. Right now you're watching my deadlifting, and my goal today uh, on doing the Chad Wesley Juggernaut Fitness... Uh, or not Juggernaut Fitness, that's Jason Blaha's channel. The Juggernaut um, method uh, for weightlifting was to do, it was five sets of three. And so I started off instead of doing my first, and it was at 82.5%. So for me, my one at max is right around 500, uh, or it's actually 495 uh, is what I put it down as. So I was doing um, 405 here, 405 pounds. And so what I did was I just did double overhand with the hook grip and I did my first six sets as uh, just singles and then I did three sets of three after that. And the goal here is uh, I took the belt off so I was training beltless, no straps, no belt and nothing like that. And uh, now, I've, now I do have the belt and the straps on as you can see and um, so I'm doing uh, multiple sets now. And uh, I wanted to get used to... I, I want to start thinking of the deadlift as more, um, not just an exercise, uh, not that I, I haven't thought of it as training a competition event in the past, but I want to further synchronize that into my training that I'm not just doing an exercise to get bigger and stronger, but I'm actually training an event. And yes, the deadlift, of course, does make you bigger and stronger. It is an excellent um, exercise for stimulating muscle growth throughout the entire body. Um, but um, for me, at least, in terms of um, training as a power lifter and as a strength athlete and a strongman, uh, I, I want to think of some of these things more as um, competitive movements. So I'm training an event that I compete in and, and thinking of it more like that than just thinking of it as an exercise. And uh, as I get into some of these reps, it is kind of tough and it's hard on the body. So, um, but... So here I've moved on to overhead pressing. Um, this is not too bad. I think it's 155, 155 pounds on the bar. And um, nothing nothing real crazy here. I just wanted to film the entire ses session so you guys kind of see what I do. Um, I'm doing five sets of three. Um, you can kind of see me sitting it down and, and then taking it back off. I, I think I'm given, um, on this one, I've been given about three minutes of rest in between sets. Uh, so last week when the percentage was lower, I think I was only doing 75% of my one rep max for, I think I did seven sets of three. So the volume overall, the sets times reps times weight was more. I did more overall work. Um, so this week the intensity gets a little bit higher. They call it the intensification phase. And um, last week I only gave 60 seconds of rest in between each set so not a lot of rest and just kind of do it in it. I was thinking of that more like conditioning so I'm conditioning myself for powerlifting for strongman. Um, I like what Chad Wesley Smith says um, when he when he's written some of his articles for juggernaut training systems and that is where he talks about how like um, conditioning is a very broad term that can mean different things for different types of athletes. Um, but for somebody that's competing strongman and um, powerlifting, I think it's pretty smart to try and condition yourself in some way, um, it, just whatever is conducive to your sport. So um, in this case, I'm hitting a lot of low rep um, weights with very little rest in between, and um, that's how I'm thinking of conditioning. Um, so, but to move on, um, now you can see I'm doing front squats. I wanted to do front squats because the volume really isn't very high on some of like the deadlifts and things that I do. Um, I mean, I mean it, it is kind of a lot for the deadlift considering how taxing an exercise it can be, um, but it, it's not in terms of my overall stimulus for muscle growth. And um, so I, I kind of want to train the deadlift at sub-maximal intensities. I, I, I like that. I like that whole idea. I like the whole idea of this um, program, the way that the juggernaut method, the, the percentages and, and the, the phases go. Um, it, it's just, I think it's really smart and well put together. Um, so I'm adding in some front squats here, pretty light. I think this is 205 pounds. 
and um, you know that that's not a lot for me. That's that's fairly lightweight. So um, this is again keeping with. I'm just creating extra volume, extra work, um, and and it, and it is something that I I want to keep in somehow the front squat because it, it is good for carrying over to strongman training, and and it carries over you know to the power lifts as well for squatting for for um, uh, deadlifting in terms of your ability to grow muscle and be stronger in those events, but um, uh, I, I'm really thinking of like the stones um, when I'm doing like atlas stone training, so the, the very first part of an atlas stone uh, when you lift it off the ground is kind of like a Romanian deadlift or a stiff leg deadlift, and then you sit it in your lap and you go to lift it up and it's a lot like a front squat and then as you get it up it becomes almost like a power clean because you're like thrusting, you're getting triple extension, you're thrusting your, your hips into the air so it's like you're cleaning the weight um, from there. So there's a lot going on in stone loading or, or working with the atlas stones. Um, so I'm finishing that up and this is really just to get some additional workload in. Um, and the next thing that I do is, I didn't really feel like doing pull-ups today, so I did some of these curls, and um, you can see on my neck there, shoulders, where I had the bar from the front squats, um, but I think that training the biceps is, is a really good idea um, for a strongman, and, and I think that training the biceps, the best way to do it is to do like rows and pull-ups, but being that I had already done a lot of deadlifting, and I had already um, been doing the front squats, which isn't quite as taxing on your, your lats or your back, um, but it still has some, some added stress there. Uh, I, I didn't really feel like doing pull-ups. Uh, I was feeling pretty worn out, so instead I decided to do some, uh, some curls. And it helps strengthen up the bicep, so you, you help, by strengthening the bicep, you help prevent getting a, any type of bicep tear or anything like that. Um, but the reason I bring up the whole thing about uh, chimps talking smack to gorillas is because I'll post some pictures here in just a moment of some of the comments that I get occasionally uh, from people. And I find them amusing because I clearly am not um, here for aesthetics or bodybuilding. Um, I'm not really interested in that kind of thing. It's just not... Uh, not not where my interest lies, I guess. I mean, I mean, I do want to look good. I want to look aesthetic. But the thing is that I actually kind of think that I do look pretty good. I I do look aesthetic in, in a way, in the way that that I view as as um you know looking good. So you know, I, if I were to be like really um, frail looking or to look like an endurance athlete, um, like you see many people. Um, that look, then that would be, I would feel, you know, bad, not bad about that, I wouldn't feel bad about myself, but that would not be what I wanted. Um, whereas if you look at guys like Durian Riders or, or you know, other um, people that are endurance athletes, if they gained weight and they looked, um, you know, bigger or, or more muscular, not necessarily even fatter, they just um, were were bigger in general, that may not be what they want because... Um, that would not be conducive to their sport. They that would be bad for them. Whereas you know, for me, I actually like um, you know the way that I look. So um, I don't really want to look skinny and and like like what I think. I, I don't know what some of these people are wanting. But you saw the comments, you know, whatever. I don't I don't know. So you guys take it easy, and I will talk to you next time.